Hello, and welcome to the second episode of Wandering in Counter-Strike. Uh, the first episode of this took place a long time ago in the middle of another video. Uh, so, we're going to be just talking about my favourite map, uh, which I'll get into why it's my favourite map as we go on. Uh, my favourite map to play competitively, and that's Nuke. So we're going to be, you know, wandering around the map, going out of bounds, uh, with no clip. Uh, just, I mean, a lot of this stuff, you, if you play CS, you, you'll know what's going on here. Like, for example, most people know that this this uh, parking lot is actually fully modelled and has collision. Uh, not these, though. Uh, but the ground has collision, and you can walk on it. So this is Nuke. It's set in a nuclear reactor facility in Germany, I believe, in Germany. Uh, uh, which is funny, funny meme on the other side. It says the safest nuclear facility in the world when there's literally a terrorist attack happening right now. So there's actually some cool environmental stories and This is the skybox, by the way. You can see where it starts. Uh, but um, so there's actually some interesting environmental storytelling happening, which is which is quite quite uh, some good design. So uh, fuck, I forgot where. I don't remember. I don't actually think there is a thing. But either way, you can tell how we got here. You can tell how the T's actually got in, which is oops, I've gone the wrong way. It's over here. So somehow they got through this, which is, you know, they, that's not quite explained. But either way, they got over here uh, in like a van, uh, and they they took the van. Maybe they didn't even come through there. Maybe they came from over here. But they took the van. They crashed it through this fence, and uh, that's how they got in. Uh, maybe they got in over here somewhere. I'm not sure. But either way, nuke is unusual because all of this like. I don't understand why any of this exists. You cannot see this. I don't think you can see this from anywhere in the level. Over here? Where is this? I don't even know where we are right now. This is open. Why is this open? I don't think I've ever... Oh, this is here! Oh, okay. This makes sense. That's why this is textured. But still, it's a little strange to have all of this done. Oh, this forklift has collision. Interesting. Uh, so, yeah, but here we are outside in the nuclear facility. Uh, but this isn't really the map, so this is this is just extra outside bits. The outside of this map is really, really good. Like, it, it looks really amazing. So, let's take a look at some close details over here. Firstly, this door, I believe it's this door. Uh, if you knife it a lot, it goes crazy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it's not this door. That's just the normal knife bug. Maybe it's this one. Maybe I'm wrong. One of the somewhere on this map, there, there's a, a thing. Maybe it's this one. No, never mind. Uh, either way, so T's this entire area you never actually get to because T's spawn like here. Uh, it's fun, a fun activity you can do. I just saw that light pop in. A fun activity you can do is to, to try and throw your weapon on top of this box. There we go. It's harder with an orb. Uh, but quite fun. Something else I like to do is to, to jump on these tires, oops, and then uh, try and jump across here. It's not exactly difficult, but fun, you know, just try and jump on these things. I, I, do, I do that a lot. Uh, there's enough, uh, also you can, if you if you're at round start, a lot of people will, everyone rushes out of here, you jump on here, you can run boost off your teammates. Uh, but it, uh, one of the reasons Nuke's interesting is because there's this, like, T-Spawn is very decorated. There's a lot of stuff around T-Spawn that, that's quite unusual. Uh, in in most other maps, T-Spawn, like Dust2, for example, T-Spawn is, is um, minimal. So I just make sure I'm actually recording. It's, it's minimal because it just exists to get to the city side of the map. So then you've got outside and inside and roof. So I guess we'll start with roof, since, you know, there's this, this sort of standard roof execute, which I am bad at. <laughs> but I, I need to get this at least once for the video. Come on. Oh, I hit something on my desk. Doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> the standard roof execute, which I'm gonna hit. I will not rest until I hit it. I, I swear I've practiced this so much and I still fucking suck at it. I don't understand why. So you need to run up on this side of the ladder. Land in that. We hop up there, and I lost too much speed. This is embarrassing. I swear, normally I get this. <laughs> normally I hit this every time. 
I lost all the speed, but whatever. That's and then I fall down there every fucking time because it's a tiny ledge that I'm in. There you go. Nope. <laughs> and the problem is, if you fuck it up, you lose health because it's a big drop. Uh, you want to climb up on the furthest side you can, and I jump too late there. But if you want to be the fastest you possibly can, you want to jump basically as soon as you cross over into the white, the, the corrugated section. Even that was higher than I needed to be. Whatever, I give up. Um, you know, the, the, it's actually, I've timed it, it's barely faster to do it that way. It's it's like half a sec, if you do this perfectly, if you if you do this bit perfectly and the B hops and stuff, that was not a B hop. But if you, if you did that perfectly smoothly, which you can do if you jump early and straight jump, so like, I don't know, like a, like a this kind of situation. Oops. God, I haven't warmed up, guys. I haven't. <laughs> I just turned on CS:GO. You can't. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Like that. Getting up here. It's only about half a second slower to do it that way than it is to to, to go this way. And of course, half a second is important. Uh, but like, not super important. And also, that happens. This this collision is just just not nice. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this is silo, you can see all over the map, including the water, which actually moves, and looks really quick. Uh, you can see two water textures joining up here. And this bridge. I don't know why I did that, let's get back up there. So, on the roof there are these lights, which you can't break in no clip. Oh no, you can break in the no clip, I don't know why I said that. Yeah, sadly you can't get up here in game, but it's a fun place to hang out with your mates. Uh, Oops, stop. There we go. Nope. Apparently, you can't move when you're up here. That's strange. Yeah, no, as soon as I go on no clip, I can't move. That's weird. Uh, but anyway, this is, this is like, this whole place is fully textured, which is, I guess, surprising, but if you, if you jump from here, you can sort of, like, if you stand on here and jump, you can see over there, so I guess that's why it's fully textured. And there's some some people boost up there to, to throw certain lineups and stuff. But yeah, the, the top of here has got these, these windows which you can shoot out and throw smokes through, and these vents which block smokes annoyingly. Uh, and this big tower, what is this big tower, you may ask? Well, this is ramp. And I'm going to talk more about ramp in a minute, but because uh, there's actually something very interesting about ramp. Which I, I, Fun fact about this map, but uh, but yeah, that's basically the the, the T roof area. It's really not uh, like it's surprising. It's pretty interesting. Like there's all these ventilation stuff. Also, this uh, this place has some really awkward awkward uh, clipping. Like it looks like you should be able to shoot through here, but you can't. It just hits this invisible wall. You you could sort of see it. Uh, like you can't actually shoot through there. Um, also, you think you should be able to crouch through here, but you can't. Um, like these just feel weird to be on. Under here is a fun place to hang out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. It's you can stand up fully once you're in here, but this blocks you, so you have to crouch to get in there. Uh, this this staircase with the yellow rail, interesting. It kind of makes you wonder why. Like, what's the purpose of this place? If outside of being a Counter Strike map, as in like, like why is it so easy to get up there? Well, what's the importance of, of having... Oh, I guess there are some valves up there. That might be why you want to get up there. There's, there's this valve over here. Which doesn't... I mean, actually, I've never followed it. Let's find out. Where does this go? Nowhere. It stops. <laughs> so what's the fucking point? Why do you need to be up here? It just ends there. Okay. And what about down here? This valve goes into here, which is just empty. Well, I guess... Underneath here is something. Whatever this is. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We'll talk about that. Oh, that uh, should be. Um, but, like, what about this valve? Where does this go? Well, this doesn't go anywhere either. So, so really, this entire thing is fucking useless. Like, why would you want to get up here? What is, like, this is just air conditioning units and ventilations and stuff. But, it, like, it's railed off like a place that people would come. Like it's like it's got handrails and it's got this nice little step. Is it just a fire escape? If so, why why <laughs> why is the fire escape go up to the roof? So that like doesn't make any sense. Or whatever. 
Alright, there's these shutters. So let's let's try and follow this from, from the inside route now. Uh, there, here's the place we were earlier. There's these shutters, which I guess you could open with this, in theory. Um, I guess for driving vehicles in, because this seems to be where the vehicles come into the building. Although, if you maybe just maybe it's just for unloading cargo, that seems more likely because like what vehicle could actually fit in here, and what would they do once they were in here? So probably just for unloading cargo. Uh, and then you've got squeaky the lobby and stuff like that. Protective gloves must be worn. Safety glasses must be worn. Uh, and these things which have their their things taken off. So they don't exist. Oh, they do exist. Never mind. Um, there's this this platform up here. Like obviously this stuff is there for gameplay purposes, but it's fun to theorize about why this would exist. Oh, we can find out. This is an escape ladder. Okay. I guess well it is a nuclear facility, so it would make sense to have um to have a lot of fucking escape routes and stuff. But like, where does this this only takes you to upstairs? And then the only place you can go from here is down here, which would be useless if you were a human and not a count strike, because that's a really far job um, for a person to take. Look, it's significantly taller than me. Uh, or down here onto this other ladder. I mean, I, I assume that this does not look like a place that was intended to go to by the fucking creators of the, the nuclear plant, right? Uh, well, it says protective laws also worn and stuff. Uh, because once you're up here, unless you're a Counter-Strike person who can magically survive falls like that with surfing on barrels, you're gonna die. Uh, so that's weird. Doesn't make sense in real life, but we'll forget it because it's a Counter-Strike map. Also, people don't look up enough. Looking up is nice. Also, I wonder if they removed this yet. It seems not. Let's find out. Hopefully, if I ride up here... Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. And now we can. Yes! Check me out. <laughs> they never removed it. That's it. Yeah, you could just float along this on like a pixel walk. That's a fun one. It's actually also. It can. I mean, I've never actually seen it used in a game. Uh, because it takes so long to, like, when would you ever use it? And also, it's not even a particularly good position. Uh, oh, and it, it takes so long to get up there. Uh, right. And then well, even when you are up there, you have full accuracy. So it's it's not like a surf, so that's nice. Uh, but, like, it's, is it actually useful for anything other than an off angle? I mean, you have no cover and nowhere to go if someone comes from there, and or there. The only place it's useful for is squeaky, I guess. And no one's going to check this angle, but if they see you, you're fucked, and they're going to see you because it's light out in the open. Anyway, so you come through here, and then you've got a site. You've got two entrances to a site: squeaky and main. Or what is this called? Hut, right? Uh, HUT is an acronym that stands for ham under toe, as we all know. Uh, always got to try and make that jump. That is technically possible. Apparently, you can get up there, but I'm not KZR, and even for KZR, it's hard to do the sight. Caution, overhead crane. Ah. Uh, radio control area. Radiation control area. If you listen carefully. Oh, I don't have sound on. <laughs> you, you can't hear anything, but there's, you can hear the sound of guide counter. Uh, so now we're on a site. Uh, notice all visitors just please respect reports of the site office. Very low quality signs, very high quality signs. Uh, danger, high voltage. Oh, yeah, I never noticed that. This, I was always like, why is this just lying there? It's a panel that's been taken off of this electrical component. That's a nice bit of detailing. And also this is nicely smooth. You'll notice that, that there's not many fights that happen. Well, there's fights that happen in the lobby, but you're, you're generally not going to be standing against this wall back here to have those fights. So this thing is like, uh, even this is smooth, right? This is how high quality Counter-Strike is. Once you play Counter-Strike, you can't go back to other, other games because everything is so high quality. Whereas this is like a, this is a bomb site where a lot of fights are going to take place. You're going to be, so this is like completely smooth to walk against, even if I'm just like completely looking at it, there's, there's everything's clipped off nicely. Uh, Something else that's fun is this, you can actually 
sit on top of here. It's a pretty useless angle, but maybe useful once in a while. It's not surfing, I have full accuracy. And you can surf on it as well. Uh, but yeah, other than that, Bronxite A is actually not very interesting. Um, everyone rushes B every round anyway. Uh, I wonder if they ever came up with like a... I don't think they ever came up with any reason why this is here. Like that of actual panel over there. There's some fire extinguishers. So I can flip my head through. Uh, this thing, which is much more wall bangable than you think it is, and that leads to outside. Uh, really, yeah, it's, it's you know, it's, it is what it is. We got some signage. <laughs> S Q E E S Q three three K dash E storage squeaky four. So that's this bit because the door is squeaky. Uh, squeaky mini mini part. Uh, yeah, this is not really the part of the map I'm most familiar with. Also, I remember, I think they cleared it off, but you used to be able to do like a crazy straight jump around this thing. Let me get up there. Oops, no. Uh, oh, crane axis. HVN. Haha, <laughs> heaven. Uh, you used to be able to do like. I'm definitely going to flop it because I, I don't even know if it's possible. Like crazy straight jump around that to get over there. Like you can't, I don't, I've never been able to do it. I assume it's because they removed it, but I don't know. Anyway, now let's get into the real part of the map where there's some interesting shit. Uh, here's the vending machines. They don't, they don't do anything, sadly. And this place, Cedar Creek Nuclear Power Park, the safest part in the world. It's won some awards. 2012, Star of Excellence. 2014, Safety Award. 2013, 2012, 2011. 2009, Star of Excellence. 2010. Hey, looks like a pretty good crime. This is Wolbang. Uh, okay. Ah, yes. Uh, am I recording? Yep. Ah, okay. Where was I? Ah, yes. Uh, we're entering a ramp from control room. I didn't know this was called the control room. I know this is called. It's very confusing. Like, why does this have three different names? Control room. Oh, because this is a control room. I never even looked out there. Trophy, because this is where the trophies are. But trophy is like this tiny little section, because right here is, is now vending. Uh, I've always just called this whole place trophy. Like, this whole area trophy. Uh, let's take a look inside this control room, shall we? No clip. Uh... Interesting. Looks pretty accurate to me. I've seen inside of old nuclear reactors, they all look like this. Oh, we got this fucking seismograph looking ass thing. Some switches, some dials and shit. Hell yeah. Nice desks. There's some actually some some sounds coming from here that you can't hear, but I can. And it goes all the way back here. And look, they didn't even bother texturing this, but uh, putting anything here because you can't see it from anywhere. Oh, the void. Some old computers, or well, maybe the new computers. Uh, nice lights. Looks very cool. That's a cool lighting effect. The void. The void. The light is coming for us. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, nothing that interesting around here. A drawer open here. It's not even a drawer, it's just a thing. Uh, and cool lighting, I like that. But you know, you gotta look up. It's an important thing in CSGO maps, is that no one ever looks up. Uh, and, and they put a lot of detail in the ceilings to make it feel real. But, but everyone just rushes through, yeah, everyone just be hops through it. Like, who's, who's ever looked, at, who's ever noticed this, this fucking pipe here? No one. It doesn't go anywhere or do anything. We've already checked. It doesn't, doesn't do anything, but, you know, it's cool. Uh, anything through this door? Let's see, if, where, where would this connect to, logically? Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of this in counter strip maps. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't... Doesn't quite make sense. But fuckers, uh, there is a s very small space in here. Unless it's like... What does this even lead to? 
So back here, maybe it's like some sort of secret thing. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, yeah, this is this is clearly just just rubbish. But unless it's like a really tiny cupboard, but then why would it be authorized personnel only? Yeah, strange. Oops, I'm in the floor. Oops, not in the ceiling. Get me out of here. Oh no. Anyway, let's finally get to what I've actually been wanting to show people. This is this is round. People, I think a lot of people already know this, but I th also think it's surprising that people don't know this. Firstly, in the context of this being a real place, I'd be kind of worried about all these things just sort of stacked up randomly, but whatever. Uh, you know, ramp access and stuff. But this is the cool thing. This place is huge. No one ever looks up, but this is actually, as you saw before, the huge tower you can see all across the map, the huge dome. Uh, not this one. This is a slightly smaller dome that has nothing inside of it. But this one is the huge dome. And what is it, you may ask? Uh, well, you know there's bombs that every map in Counter Strike has bomb site A and bomb site B. But this map also, and also, yeah, you'll see if you go to bomb site A, it has this container that says A1. If you go to bomb site B, which is down here, it has B1. And over here, C1. This is it. This is bomb site C. You can't plant at it, it's not even connected to anything. Uh, who knows why it's being held by this crane? Because, like, what are they going to do with it? God knows. I wonder if, if this is flipping. Yeah, you can walk around here. Turn these valves. That doesn't have flipping. But you can walk around here. Get under here. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, see, this is an angle you never see normally. Imagine this. Imagine being here in a game. <laughs> That'd be sick. Where does this door lead to? You want to take a guess? That's, I'm going to get that 10 out of 10. It doesn't lead to anywhere. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Classic counter strike. Uh, man, Im but imagine having this ang. Imagine having this ang in a match, bro. That'd be like, what? what? I'm floating! <laughs> Yo, this is sick. And you can shoot down through it as well. Yo, imagine having this bag. I want, imagine if like you could stack four people in this corner and get up here. That would be sick. Oh look, you can actually see the, the, the these pop out of existence. Interesting. But yeah, there's bombs I see. I want let's try and get up to right at the top here. Oh, very dark. Is there really enough space for me to stand? Well, I thought, oops. Maybe over here. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> ah, fuck. Okay, well. I was spending too long there anyway. <laughs> let's grab some, let's grab some gear. What should we get? Let's get some armor, and I can't afford it. No, let's get a decoy. Where are we going, boys? Russian fence? Sounds good to me. This is my standard tactic. Well, this is a lot of people's standard tactics. Go on here. Oops. Left on the blue hops. Left too squeaky. That was pretty slow. Also, sometimes that doesn't, that just doesn't like you shoot it, and it just won't recognize that you shot it. My down in vents. Uh, why does this ventilation shaft exist? It doesn't make any sense logically because this is not how ventilation shafts work. They don't just exist in a small place for no reason. Maybe this one makes more sense, but it doesn't because it doesn't. Oh, I guess this is supposed to lead up here. But then let's, let's take a small guess and see it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. Unless it's this. Oh, it could be this, I guess. It doesn't really make sense because this, yeah, this this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> CSGO maps don't make any sense. This clearly comes out here. There's nowhere else for it to go. And even if there was, even if it could come out here, it doesn't because there's nothing under there. But, uh, but yeah. Um, why am I doing this? Oh yeah, I want to go out here into B because there's a bunch of interesting outbound stuff here that you can see. But first of all, let's go down to the site. Take a look around the site. 
And, uh, you know, you will know this site very well. It's pretty nice. It's pretty comfy. For some reason, there's, you may think, like, why, why are there, why are there life, what well, life saving things in a fucking, what are you, there's, there's the, what? It's like, what's going on there? You know, my friends. This is why. This is actually where they would store the nuclear. This is where the actual nuclear reactor is underwater. It's underwater to stop it from heating, to cool it, right? And to stop the radiation. Uh, and now we can get over to here. But this is essentially water under the whole site. Imagine, imagine you go to plant. You're, you're a team, you go to plant back here. And then you look down and there's a CT just sitting here. That'd be sick. Uh, also, for some reason, when you're under this water over here, it makes a bunch of errors come up in the console. Like, uh, oh, maybe not. Did it last time. Maybe, uh, maybe I did something weird that time. You can't get through here even though it looks like you should be able to. Oh, I'm dying. I forgot that you can't hold your breath there. Yeah. Oops. Uh, let's get out of it. It's kind of tricky to get out of here. There we go. Now we're in this back pit, which is possibly my favorite out of bounds area in the map. Uh, it's very dark and dingy. I kind of want to learn how to edit maps in, in Hammer so I can make this its own map. Like, imagine the bomb site moving over to here. You get all these interesting battles happening in this side. Maybe add a little more brightness so it's not so dark. But basically, instead of when the battles happen here, they happen over here. Open all of this. Oops. Let me out. Let me out. Open all of this stuff up. Right. Open this gate up. And then you have the battles happen over here. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, this doesn't have collision. Okay, it's really have collision. Whatever. Uh, yeah, you get. Maybe the site could be back here. There's not that much cover. This is like a little bit of cover here. If these boxes have collision, that would be cover. This place is not really cover. Uh, so maybe it's not the best. Maybe it wouldn't make the best site. Maybe you could edit it a little bit to make it better. Or take the water out of here and have it down here. That would be sick because there's actually a ladder somewhere. Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? Sorry. Ooh. Where the hell's the ladder? Oh, there's the ladder, maybe. What the? Oh, is the ladder over here? I know I saw a ladder. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me again. I've seen the ladder with my own two eyes. What the hell? Could have sworn it was like over here somewhere. I swear there was a ladder here, what the fuck? I vividly remember seeing a ladder and trying to climb it and being unable to climb it because it, it's not real. What the hell? Okay, well I'm going crazy. Uh, I'm gonna get up here. Wait, I was just up there. Uh, but yeah, that I don't know. I just want to. I just like this area. It's like a, it's a cool area that you can sort of see from the rest of the map, like not not quite get into. Um. Also, this is where you've got to wash your hands so you don't get any sort of viruses. Uh, and you know, maybe do contamination suits or whatever. And we've got this interesting place which we saw earlier. Uh, this is also a big out of bounds area. This is Nuke is so cool because it has all of these big out of bounds areas. It feels like a real place. Oops, that doesn't have collision. I guess this doesn't either. Did I just jump over that without having to jump, or did I accidentally jump? I accidentally jumped. This is making a noise. You can't hear it, but it's making some sort of generator any noise. I guess this is the actual generator. I don't know how the nuclear plants work, uh, but yeah. Interesting. Interesting out of bounds area that you would get to theoretically through here. Oop. Oops, too far. Oops, too far. That's stupid. Oh, yes, this is the other place. You can see through here. 
got more interesting stuff. Wow, this one's more detailed. Uh, here, back here, anything interesting? Divide. Ah, uh, it's taking me over. Uh, <laughs> oops. Does that? Oh, there's a. Careful. Walk way back here. Good. Good headshot angles. No one can catch you from back there. Sadly, you can't get in there when you play. Uh, I think that's most of the interesting outbound there is. There's one more outbound. Oh, there's a, you can go back here. There's nothing here. Uh, although I always wish you could shoot the windows out from here. That would be cool. Uh, and here. Oh yeah, there's some interesting stuff to read back here. But it's kind of hard to, to read what it says. Um, new fuel elevator. Four streets in. Who's the one there? Who are you? 8208. Do not erase. <laughs> it's been erased. Funny. Sort of schematics. Dry saturated core. What the fuck is this? What's going on here? Let's, let's, let's get in there closer. Still here. Uh, still here. Irvin? Irvin? Is that what it says? Fascinating. Now let's go through this door. There's nothing over here for them to see. Oh, this is the toilets. Nice. Very considerate to have toilets, although not gender neutral, so that's kind of. Oh no, they are gender neutral. Interesting. Where am I? What time is it? Interesting. Uh, this is an observation deck. Does it seem very safe to me? Oh, here's something fun you can do. Pro tip for actually being good at this map is uh, oops. Let's use a different one. Let's use this one. Put it here. Let me turn that off. This is getting annoying. And it doesn't have texture on the back, so you can hide behind it. And if you get the angle right, they can't see you. Like, so you're here. Like that. Or closer, like this. Let's put it, put it where my head would be. So, then, can't see you if they're coming from here. You just be hidden. But I mean, they will see this thing, so it's kind of a little useless. But they might just think it's a graffiti that someone's violently put there. Uh, yeah, it's not the, like it's not a crazy game breaking trick, but it is something. Um, yeah, uh, I think that's most of the interesting stuff on this map. That's like you can sort of see them moving around. Oh, we haven't gotten to CT or outside yet. Over here, we get to ramp. Uh, oh no, wait, that's the other way. Over here, we get to to A site. And that's where, I'm, and then there's, you can go even further over to here, but there's, there's nothing here. But I guess it would connect to here. And now let's fly over to here, because you can see this path actually does continue. We just haven't touched it. And there's all this electrical shit uh, down to here, which would be the main road, which I guess is probably where the T's came in. So now we know. Oh, here's, here's a van. Maybe the T's stole the van from here. Uh, anyway, here's the river. Very nice. And that's the skybox, which is down there. Um, oops, forgot this wasn't a real place for a minute there. Just flying around is very fun. Bridge here. Oh, I wonder if I can fly under the bridge smoothly. Not not the smoothest, not the smoothest. I did definitely trip into the floor there. There we go, it's much smoother. Let's go under here. And back. Yes, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, oops. 
Yeah, this is you can only walk even more over this. You can also, I think, walk on the water. Yeah, and Jesus. Uh it's built next to a river for 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 for, for, for cooling purposes. Useful for cooling. Maybe they're using hydroelectric tower. There's some beautiful high quality grass. Uh that has been blocked off. Uh now let's head over to the city's farm. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this out of bounds. Like right, something interesting over here, like this. What is this place? It's even been textured above for some reason. All these power lines. Fucking sick. And this is where the CTs arrived. They got off of their little spot van. Anyone in front? Doesn't look like it. It's still on though. You can hear the engine running. Zippy glasses, forklifts, nothing's in here, but in theory, this would be another building. Ooh, it's too big. It's dark. I don't have goes nowhere. Uh, where would that go in theory? Into this building. This door would go into this building, and this building is connected to this thing, which I would assume. Being another dome shape is similar to this big dome shape, but who knows, really, could be anything. Does it say anywhere? This just says CT start. Crane axis, hell. Garage is no station land axis. So this doesn't say what this is. Fortune forklift trucks. I guess we'll never know. Loading zone. So something's going in here, but, uh, but who knows what it is. Um. It doesn't seem to tell me anywhere. It doesn't say what this place Oh! See this creek? Save the phone below. Radioactive waste. Uh, some sort of treatment facility for the waste? Interesting. Could be anything really. I just like this thing. This, this little door. I like this, the existence of that small door. Anybody you can sort of see it? But not quite. Um, here's the other fun route that people do. This one's much easier, but I still am going to fuck it up because, of course, I am. Knew it. Knew it. Here's the fun route. Down into that thing. Surf the. Surf the. Uh, this thing. Or, of course. A slightly more classic version. Fuck it up. <laughs> this is just infinitely fun. Because source is great because oops, source is great because of the control you have over your character over there. Like it feels very smooth and natural. You're rewarded for smooth movements, that's why B hopping and surfing is so popular. I hope Source 2 has similar movement style and isn't just a VR. I think that's one thing we may lose with the transition to VR is some of these... Well, to be honest, we've already fucking lost it. CS is the only game that still has, like, high-quality skill-based movement. Like modern game. I mean, obviously people still play great, you know. Also, it is possible to land on that door, but it's very difficult, and I've never played it off. Uh, in fact, I don't know if it actually is possible. You can also do this, which serves no purpose, but it's fine. I accidentally opened my radio in my new ass, and let's try it one more time. Oh, fucked it up. Yeah, really not playing very well today. I cannot jump. I have jumped down to my scroll wheel, which makes it a little more tricky to do than those precise jumps. But yeah, you can land up there. It doesn't really serve any purpose uh, since, since you're surfing while you're up there, so. It's, like, it, it's really hard to stay up there, first of all. And second of all, even if you could, you wouldn't have any accuracy because you're technically falling or sliding. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to stay up there. You just sort of slide off. Um, let me try this one more time. Yeah, you just slide off. Uh, but it is possible to like do the cool V hop into to vents. But it's, uh, it's, it's kind of precise, and I'm not a very precise guy. <laughs> it's also possible to do some cool b hops up 
or into that. But I am definitely not good enough for that. Uh, I think we've actually really gone through the whole map now. The only thing left to do is to go outside, but there's really not much outside. Oh, and in here as well. Uh, but there's really nothing in here. A door that, let's guess, goes to nowhere? Goes to nowhere. I guess there is actually space for it to theoretically exist. Not really, though. Yeah, that would be a very tight corridor. Uh, this little area, which is secret. So let's go and go back down here. So that is Nuke. Let's fly down to the skybox to, to finish this up. This is all around Nuke. We've got some nice farms, which I'm sure are very happy to have a nuclear facility right next door. Um, Oh, very good type of trees. These bundies just look great. And the sky, which is itself quite nice, but if you look up, you can use it. Unless it, where do you go down here? Yeah, see, now you can't tell. You literally cannot tell that we're not in the map unless you look at the bottom of that. But if you're if you're at the right at the right height, it's impossible. Well, now it's quite possible because I can see my hands. But there, you can't tell if it's nearby or just far away, or if it's nearby and small or just very far away. Also, there's a strange ring which I've just noticed. I wonder if that's one of the not supposed to be very strange. I wonder if that's present in the in the regular map. Yeah, you can see it. A strange ring. Strange. Also, this is apparently the center of the map. No, wait, I was completely off there. Let's find where the actual center of the map is. Why not? Right here, right? Here. right? There we go, it seems pretty centered. So the center of the map is, is near, it's actually near to spawn because we have this huge area in both directions. Interesting. So this area of lobby is right near the center, and this, this reactor is actually right near the center. Interesting. So that's cool. Um, was there anything else that was interesting about, about here? We've definitely flown all the way around the map. I've shown all the stuff that goes on outside in the low detail areas and stuff like that. Uh, in the river, this area. We've seen all this. We've seen T spawn, we've seen CT spawn, and we've seen pretty much everywhere inside. I haven't even gone through hell. This place is fun. We've shown you up here. Oh, we haven't been in here. I've never been in here before. This is my first time. Oh, very close to the Oh, things to read. What? Is it even possible to see that from anywhere on the map? Oh, you can see it from over here. What does it say? Feedback, remeasure, set goals, improvements, implement, adapt, train. How do you measure progress? Where do you want to be in six months? How's the investigation, supervision, employee participation, training for months? Stop letting chickens in the facility! Stop letting chickens in the facility! These silly people letting chickens in the facility. What are they doing? ABC? Maybe that's to do with the bomb sites? I don't know. Oh, there's a staircase to nowhere. Yeah, this staircase really would be to nowhere. Wow. Super cool. There's this room which doesn't exist. This room which doesn't exist. And this other room which also exists. And then another hallway which doesn't seem to leave anywhere. But it has a sink. Oh, it's toilets. Um, oh, this is called admin? This is called admin? I had no idea, but I guess that makes sense. This is, must be where the admins of the, the building work. I've already called it. I've always called it hell. Well, this part is called hell. This is hell, but this is admin apparently. Interesting. 
What is this? This is also hell. This is called locker room. Yeah, I don't, I don't buy it. What does this say? Decontaminate. Okay. This is the locker room. Not the best locker room, given that there's fucking windows right there and there's no door. In fact, most of these places don't have doors. This place is a sliding door which slides when you're playing Wingman. But other than that, we've seen the whole map now. I'm, I'm pretty confident there's nothing I've missed. Um, let's go flying through. Yeah, nothing I've that I've missed. There's one in there. One through here. I definitely checked out with the key site. There used to be some, there used to be a place here. This used to be an old room. But now, there's nothing. Uh, we've gone through all of this part, place. Doors. Oh, I guess these doors actually lead to somewhere. What? They actually linked up two sets of doors. Wow, now that is impressive. Now that is truly impressive. These doors don't go anywhere. This door doesn't go anywhere. Big red crate with a nuclear sign on it. Seems safe to me. Uh, and I think that's truly it. I think that's truly it. I think we're done. Uh, let's, let's fly into this, this tower thing as a finale. Goodbye.